but I know that it was done. I know I could never replace you. There's no question in it, you're my one. I was on lockdown making this stuff and not knowing how people would receive it. But man, it's been amazing to connect to these people. And what I'm hearing is like, oh, your music got me through the pandemic and I needed, I couldn't wait to see you live to really feel you in person. People need the release and people need it to connect to this. I mean, people are crying at these shows, you know, like it's really a, an experience, you know, and I, that's, that's not even bigging up myself. I think it's just what's needed. For me personally, I, I always assume that I'm a new artist, you know, in a way. Like, I, I just never uh, expect people to, to know. Uh, but there there definitely is um, uh, some uh, an awareness, you know, that's happened uh, more recently. And it's like, it's cool, you know. For me, like I said, mentally I still stay the underdog because I, I never want to get comfortable, you know. Um, but it's amazing, man, you know, just to be recognized. It's kind of been a, a slow but but rewarding journey for me because, um, you know, one of the main things that I maybe don't talk about as much is that I've been able to do this independently as well, you know, with my own company, owning all of my music, uh, winning these Grammys against major label artists as an independent um, has been really the thing I'm most proud of um, in this, um, you know, but if anything, I just wanted to inspire artists uh, and creatives in general to know that, you know, if you just stick to something and you keep on creating the way you feel, eventually you can find your people and they're gonna find you. It was a big deal when I joined Maroon 5. Um, and, uh, but there is certainly, like, especially on Twitter, there's probably annually a tweet that comes out like, I didn't know it was a black dude in Maroon 5. And then they're like, wait, the black dude is PJ Morton? And it's been 12 years, so I, I'm kind of like... <laughs> but man, they've been my biggest supporters. I mean, it's been instances where I do double duty and I'll open up the Maroon 5 show as PJ Morton and then close as Maroon 5. I've done that on, on multiple tours. So um, it's nothing but love and support. But as long as I don't have to leave the band, I'll, I'll be there.